And then, after qualifying, if you're one of the top four teams, the division winners, a big huck here from Alex Atkins. Joel Clutton in the area, though. And Jay Frude somehow comes down with that. A lot of bodying out. Joel Clutton looking frustrated. Absolutely the type of play you've come to expect from Jay Frude, though. He knows his body so well. He uses it perfectly here. Somehow, seemingly without even having his eyes on the disc, eyes in the back of his head, pulls it down. A, a circus catch here, really. Clutton has position all the way, but just Frude is the one quite, who finds it. Couldn't quite get the vertical jump he needed there. Jay Frude, it curved kind of weird. Jay Frude read it perfectly. A and credit to Frude for knowing that since there is so much body-to-body -body contact, there's not... AG's fun, though, man. I'm a, I'm a big AG fan already. So now an opportunity for Salt Lake. This one's sent deep. A lot of wow. red jerseys over there, and it is tipped out of the back. I mean, when you're throwing that disc, you're not thinking about Jay Fruit. Where the heck was Jay Fruit when that disc was thrown? So Tatum now will look on the far side. Clutton guarding on the mark right now. Wow. Far side, trying to get that to curve in all the way back. And a perfect placement there. What a shot downfield. Quinn Finer, the completion for the goal. Yeah, not, not too bad for Fruit. I mean, basically the stall was about to be at seven. He didn't have a reset he liked. Nice to have that in your back pocket. I mean, talk about vision. Just being able to set up, toss downfield, and hit it on the, mon on the money. And uh, for whatever reason, he's not out there. I think he might have might have tweaked something. He played the O-line the first three games of the year. He's been on the D-line the last few. Jay Fruit in the end zone hauls it in for the summit. But yeah, you know, it's actually a really important point because there are a couple teams, Salt Lake included, that have been able to really bother. Brewster hits Jay Fruit. Frood with the flick, deep shot to Nethercut. Pressured by Padula, but no problem there for Nethercut. Yeah, great deep shot from Jay Frood. What a luxury to have a big downfield threat who can turn, make touch throws like that. We talked to Nethercut this week. He talked about wanting to find some more consistency, and one of the ways he and the offense can do that is with some swings as we see Maddie Jackson's deep shot hanging. But Jay Frew climbs the ladder to come down with it anyway. Wow. That was pretty. And you know, that, that throw it came off, you thought Maddie Jackson probably wanted to bend that one to the right, but it started falling. Unbelievable. I know. I know. Uh, the shred out on D, uh, yet another look. And Oh, Dusty Green is hungry, layout. and a deep throw. Joel Clutton trying to close in on Jay Frude. Jay Frude's going to catch it. Is it out? They're calling it in. That's inbounds. A great run from Jay Frude, and an absolutely fantastic throw, like we were saying earlier, from Quinn Finer. What a, a very athletic play. Franchise bringing it back in play with a crossfield hammer to Alex Atkins. Atkins. With a huge backhand, Jay Frood has steps. Seamus Robinson was close, but not close enough. Finer, Atkins, Landisman, and Brewster, all Colorado Mama Bird products. Out there with Jackson, Frood, and Nethercut on this Colorado O-line. And I could watch Jackson and Frood play together. They've played on a couple different teams and just I mean, fun to watch. And here comes Jay Fruit underneath. Great shot. Great and inside shot. Fruit now looking deep down the field. He's got his man. And that's a goal for Colorado, 3-3. Three three. Yeah, Freud, I just said Freud. Fruit steps out. That's Freudian, right? When you say Fruit incorrectly, that's Freudian. Something it? like that, yeah. Low into Jay Frude. Jay Frude having a quieter game than I think they'd like. Maybe not. Huck to Matt Jackson in the end zone. Goal for the summit. <laughs> that was a pretty throw from Jay Frude. Yeah, Matt's a guy who really holds it down for his team. Solid. And I've noticed in big moments and big games, generally he's making the right play. Brunker going deep for Jay Frude. And Jay Frude too fast for Joel Clark. 
Lutton, Colorado with the first score of the evening. Let me see if Colorado looks to speed that up a little bit. Yeah, and there's a great cut deep from Jay Fruit. Throw goes up. Fruit has his mark and his man, and he's got it for a goal. A perfectly placed pass down the field. And these two teams are just going back to back. Some discussion about whether or not Fruit's going to take it center field. He doesn't quite get to the goal line with that yardage, so he's going to be stuck in this corner with a huge hammer. It is floating, but it's going to be brought down by Colorado. And this is one of the things about having a lefty that can handle on your team. Um, if you're Joel Clutton. Here's the around. Fruit with got. the disc in the red zone. Yeah. Fruit just, he's everywhere right now. And he's got a man wide open, up with it, and it is completed. 18-18 to 18 once again. Oh, man, how can you not love Matty Jackson? Look at this guy. Dug out by Nethercutt. Runker, so dangerous tonight. Just lofts that one in the air, but it's Jay Fruit with the disc and the goal. The hoop and the harm. Jay Fruit goes up, definitely gets hit hard in the back. Be interesting to see that replay, see if the defender, what kind of play was being made, if he was aware. Definitely seemed like a lot of contact, but Jay Fruit played. Jonathan Nethercut pumps the deep shot and finds Quinn Finer. Deep shot from Finer to Fruit. That's on the money. And Santi does the one thing you can't do, which is he bites on the fake from Jay Fruit and gives him the away. You know, when they signed Jay Fruit, you knew that this team was, was seriously trying to, to win a title this year. That's when you knew when they signed Jay Fruit.